What's going on guys? Team Art here. Welcome back to another episode of Need for Speed. All right, here we go guys. I am pretty excited. So as you all know, in the last episode, we beat Eddie. And uh, when you beat some like big big shot racer, you get their car for free in the uh, in the garage. And uh, the car that Eddie rolled around in it was a 1999 GTR R34 Skyline V-Spec. So I can't wait to, uh, to check this thing out, but the problem is we're gonna have to make space in our garage And as you guys can see this garage is starting to get a little bit crowded. You know what I think we're gonna do? Let's get rid of this uh, Let's sell the Lambo 175k for it. That's alright. We took a, a bit of a hit on the uh, the purchase price there But uh, we'll be alright. Alright, here we go boys. Where is it at? Oh Eddie's a Nissan Skyline GTR V-Spec 1999 at the carbon fiber hood bronze and black vinyl and distinctive East Siders logo it clearly or certainly looks the part based on the original model of the super stiff chassis the ETS, uh, ETS Pro man all right yes please it's free it's free are you serious it's free what in the world that's a free car we're gonna take a three R a free R34 all day dude let's check this thing out so obviously we can't customize it too much but we're gonna take a, uh, a quick look around this thing. It's right hand drive as you guys can see. This is just nuts. Look inside that bad boy. Oh, it's such a sick car, dude. Such an iconic car. Rip Paul Walker, dude. And that's not meant in a, a joking manner. I absolutely love that guy. He did a lot of great things for the Fast and the Furious series and racing and all kinds of stuff, so. Anyway, boys, today we are going to be taking this thing out and we are going to be ripping up the streets of whatever city we're in. I forget what the name of the city is. And uh, I think we're, we're getting towards the end of the missions with Robin and the, um, the Risky Devils. And then we're also, we've got the, uh, the outlaw missions we have to do, but we have to figure out how to burst through speed traps to be able to do that. Oh my gosh, dude. I just love those. I love the taillights, the GTR. Always will. It's that double O. It's like that that capital lowercase O and then lowercase capital O. Just back to back. Let's see how the e-brake works. Solid. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun in this thing, dude. This is a beast. Some nitrous. So that's a mighty big wing, dude. You could like use that as a couch if you wanted to. All right. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what's up here on the map. What happens if we open up Eddie's app? Nothing. All right. So cook crew. Beat the target with Risky Devil up here. Angels can catch devils hard. Drift the route in a pack of high speed. Drift close to the other store and higher score. Beat the target score to win. All right. So we're going to be starting off in a drift train with this thing. Hopefully we aren't uh, jumping any bridges or anything over some supers. Gosh, dude. I just... That scene will forever be ingrained in my heart. In my mind. Really my heart, dude. I just... Oh, when I was a kid watching that scene... That's the scene that I told myself I would own a GTR one day when, he, when Paul jumped that over the Supra. And that's, uh, man, that was just, that was a cool scene. Very cool scene. All right, there we go. Got a nice start here. Oh, remember, Trev, we're not going for first place. We're going for 150K. As long as you stay in the middle of the pack, you're gonna be all right. This thing is a drip king. Out in Japan, dude, this thing kills it. A lot of drip guys use the R34. So I'm not expecting any problems here. Yes, sir. We actually hit that a little bit too perfectly and we got too far ahead. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Nice. Look at us, just getting drifts in where drifts don't even, don't even happen. Yeah. 
That, let's go boys. I love this game, dude. I'm actually really sad we're getting down towards the end. Like, I'm excited to see, like, what's gonna happen and, and what we unlock from the Outlaw Guy and stuff and from the Risky Doubles, but I'm also really sad because this has been a fantastic game. I don't want it to end. I don't know what they have planned for DLC. I would hope they would have some cool stuff. Stay with the group, I'm kind of, in the middle of the group. We have a guy in first place all the way in front of us. All right, whatever. Not much to drift around out here. There we go. Ooh, here's a big one. Don't mess this one up, Trev. Yes. That's what we needed. 123k, 1.6 miles left. I'm with them. Oh, that just hurt us big time, dude. We're gonna be okay. We got two big drifts coming up. Missing that one was huge, but I think this one should put us over. Oh yeah, we're good. I love how we race the same streets because I always know what to expect, you know what I mean? Like I knew we were gonna have the left, right, left there. Right, boys, we got it, that feels good. Perfect moment, it says. I'm not sure what the perfect moment was, but. We achieved the goal, baby, let's go. 171K, 21K more, good stuff. Another mission with Robin and the Risky Devils down. Let's see. Dude, you're officially a badass. Everyone's heading over Robin's trailer. Swing by for a little party. I'm always down to party, let's go. All right, Robin's trailer's down here. Let's do it, boys. Maps and games are getting bigger and bigger, dude. Like. I was just thinking about it because I just got done recording some Just Cause 3. Um, you guys are really loving that series, by the way. It's awesome. But, um, like, that's the biggest video game map I've ever seen. I was looking up stuff about it. It ends up that it's like a thousand square kilometers, and it's actually one of the biggest video game maps of all time. So it's just like, I, I, GTA kind of started the, the, the idea of that, and then, like, this map here is pretty big, too. So, it's pretty cool. Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? What's up, homies? Got you some. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Some of these scenes are so awkward. Oh, Where's Robin at? What's up, girl? Trying to make out? Killing it. Honorary double. Straight up. Putting the Ventura crew on the map, bro. All right, I'm going to post this. Hashtag risky devil. Hashtag best night ever. <laughs> best until next time. Until next time. Next time. Yeah. Awkward. Go yeah. That was rude. Oh, she's inviting us in. Let's go, boys. Like to check out uh, your sheets, see what the thread count is. And all for one. All right, nice. Well, I think. Uh, I think that's it for Robin's mission. I guess there's no big like head honcho, uh, whatever it's called that we have to do. All right, so this is going to be a problem. Run two roadblocks in a pursuit and escape. We've tried this before and we couldn't figure it out. So I think the, I think I'm going to have to look it up because I don't, we tried this and we ran a cop around in circles and worked up our heat to the highest heat level for like, a ridiculous amount of time like it was a very very long time and it just it didn't work so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna fast travel into town over here we'll just say we'll teleport to the garage I'm gonna look this up see what we have to do and uh, I'll see you guys in a sec well boys we're trying to do this 
We got a bunch of cops on us. We're trying to we're trying to evade roadblocks. I uh, I st I'm trying to watch YouTube videos while I do this. I literally have YouTube videos pulled up right now on my phone. I'm trying to figure out how to do it. So I learned where to always find a cop, which is convenient. Um, I'll teach you guys that uh, whenever we get the chance. But I'm not finding information about roadblocks. And so I'm going to work on that. I'm going to continue just wrecking things and slamming into cops and, and getting our, our heat up. But uh, I don't know what to do. I did see, so I saw the list of like outlaw missions we're eventually going to have to do. One of them is to get five cops on you for five minutes and escape in a car with under 200 horsepower. So that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to do that. But in the meantime, we're going to have to find a way to bust through these roadblocks. And I'm just, just not sure how to do that. So we're going to see what happens. But uh, catch you guys in a bit. Is this a roadblock? Oh, I think that's a roadblock. One of two. All right, we just found a roadblock. Holy cow. All right, so they... I, I'm reading on, actually, the... I found the subreddit for this game. Uh, they said they seem to roadblock the most in Southport and downtown near the garage. Here's the second roadblock. Let's go. We got it, boys. Two out of two. And now we just need to escape. All right, time to put the, uh, the headset back on. All right, I'm pretty hyped about this. I'm actually pretty excited about this. We finally got it. So that's what a roadblock looks like in this game. I didn't even know what it looked like, dude, because we haven't seen any. That's the first time we've ever seen them. I'm gonna break visual contacts. Just keep on keeping on. Shoot, they're keeping up with this man. Alright, so we broke two roadblocks. Which is the challenge he wanted us to do. I just need to lose him, I'm assuming. We should be good. We've built up quite a bit of heat here. There's no way they catch us after this. Just gonna keep going just in case. Not gonna leave anything to chance. Oh shoot. We need 17 more seconds of cooldown. We might want to keep going, dude. Nice! We got it! Text from Outlaws. Scanner full of angry cops. Uh-oh, let's see what he says. Okay, you pass muster. We are a tight group. Be ready at short notice. That's not his newest one, is it? We got the unstoppable achievement. Let's see if... Is he going to give us something else? Is he going to call us or something? I don't know what's going on. Come on, baby. I want more. Give me more. Uh-oh, here we go. Alright, so we have a new text. We had to keep opening his text to be able to get him up to the top, but now it's finally showing up. Uh, it's one thing to run in any direction you want, quite another to run a course with the 5-0 trying to stop you. Try this route with all bears, or with bears all over you. Alright, here we go. Stanley takedown, or shakedown, easy. Run the route as fast as you can. Finish within the target time to win. So this is essentially a race that we're going to have to do except we're gonna have cops on us at the same time. So this is pretty exciting. Here we go, guys. Let's get it, boys. Yes, all right. The Stanley Shakedown. This is an easy race, though. This isn't, this isn't gonna be too hard, I would expect, but uh, that's all right. Gotta work our way up from nothing. 3.64 miles in two minutes and 42 seconds. Is this real life? Supposed to have the cops on us? I don't see them. I'm assuming they're coming. Oh yeah, there it is. 
Stop your vehicle. No thanks, sir. I'm out. I'm out. That was too easy. Here we go, boys. Dude. We got about two minutes left to go about two miles. I was looking at the GPS and the the times and everything, wasn't really paying attention to that. Another cop on us. I'm out! He's sitting back there in that uh that little cutout cul-de-sac type thing just eating his donuts. He wasn't even ready, he didn't even have his foot in the gas, dude. We're gone. But yeah, this guy is insane. So, I was talking about this in a previous episode. It was probably like three or four episodes ago. You guys know how each of the, the different things have like a leader. Like we had like Magnus Walker and Ken Block and the Risky Devils and stuff like that. This guy is some crazy Yakuza like Chinese gangster family guy. Like absolutely insane. And you should like look up his, if we ever find out his name. I found out what his actual name. I'm sure we will towards towards the end. We understand who he is. He's no longer just called Outlaw. Um, his Lamborghini is in. I think it's a Diablo that he has. That's just like it's gaudy the way it looks. Like there's like neon and, and chrome and everything all over the place. Like it doesn't look like a sleek Lambo. It's just totally out there, and it's kind of cool the way he's done it. All right, there we go, boys. Got that one done. That wasn't a problem, Mr. Outlaw. Oh yeah. What's he say here? Can you hear the scanner for the guys laughing? Keep it up, yo. Alright. Give me another mission. I'll do whatever you need me to, Sony. I was gonna say son, I was gonna say homie. I said Sony. Got anything for me? It's weird. It keeps telling me I have a new message in here, but there are no new messages. I think we just have to drive around until he gives it to us. Until he shoots us a text. In the meantime, we're just gonna get some drifting in. Get some practice in. Practice maze perfect. Uh oh, here we go. Stop. I hate having the car run into things when we check our phone. All right, here we go. Okay, so you passed cop baiting 101. Now you got to really get their goat. Hang that back in out whenever you can and make them feel, feel small. All right, here we go. We go on three. Drive the route and drift the high speed and extreme angles to score big. Beat the target score to win. So this is going to be a drifting race. We aren't just going to be driving. We're going to be trying to drift with cops on our tail. So he's having us... Uh, Get crazier and crazier the further we go. I like this though. This is gonna be fun. All right, here we go. Drip trial. We go on three. Beat the target. Score with cops. And dang pigs. Let's go. It's all about the drift score, son. Cop hanging out waiting for us right there. You guys see his headlights? Right, we're up to 15,000. We've got nine tenths of a mile to go. This will be our last one. We should get it. Not quite. Now we will. That's all we needed. Give the cops a bit of a show, baby. <laughs> You. Just don't really have the speed to be getting these drifts in. And there it is, boys. We killed it. Goal was 20k. We got 28, just cuz. 
This guy better be taking it seriously, homie. Let's lose these guys. We actually have a big... He says, done with style, hombre. Uh, you're close. Keep it up. Let's keep these cops on us because he might have a new challenge for us that we can already be working towards. Because sometimes you need cops and he'll say, like, get a five-minute chase or a $10,000 fine or something like that. And if so, we're already kind of working on this fine. We're just going to get the... Uh-oh. What the hell is going on? No idea, man. At first I thought it was something I did, but then I saw how messed up it all was. There's cops everywhere and roadblocks. I'm Heck yeah. epic. They want someone bad. Travis, you anywhere near all this cop stuff going down? No, not really. You see where the roadblocks start? Where aren't they? They got a huge section of downtown blocked off. I, I definitely stay away from there. What about the docks? I'm not sure. I, I couldn't get anywhere near there. All right, cool. You want to meet us at the diner? No, I gotta do something first. You're lost. Forget him. He's just been acting weird. <laughs> you mean more than normal? <laughs> okay, new guy. Meet us over at the diner, yeah? Bob, you in? No doubt. KK, see you there. Later. Alright, we're meeting him at the diner, which means all we have to do is just escape these cops so we can fast travel there. And we're gonna be good to go. Nice job, guys. Alright, well... This is it, guys. This is the final, uh, the final set of, of challenges. The final set of events we're gonna have to do. We're on to the last one. We got done with Robin. In this episode. Beat Eddie in the last episode. Man, it's, it's, it's coming down to a close. So all we have left is this outlaw. And, uh, we're well on our way already. Alright, cool. So we're gonna go meet the guys at the diner. Wherever that is. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode.